Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Halloween spooky pamper with me evening. Just trying out some spooky products, some lush things, some of their face mask stuff, some other Halloween pumpkin fall related items that I thought we'd try out together. You guys used to love when I did pamper routines, so let me know if you still do, but I thought this would be fun. So let's get into it. So first up, I am lighting my Yankee Candle Pumpkin Spice. You guys know I'm not into the toxins of candles anymore, but I am into nostalgic toxins and I cannot live without my Yankee Candles during a fall and Christmas. So I'm lighting the spiced pumpkin and then I'm actually going in with a DIY hair mask. Earlier in this week, Bradley made some chocolate chip pumpkin cookies. They were delicious. So we had like half of a can of um, organic, just like pumpkin to use up. So I did some Googling and I found this hair mask. Actually, I found several hair masks and I just kind of combined ingredients for what I wanted. So I wanted something for dry, frizzy hair. So the pumpkin is for the dryness, the Greek yogurt is for the frizziness, and then every hair mask I saw had some honey in it. So I put some of that in there as well. I gotta tell you, I did not wanna put this in my hair, but I actually, spoiler alert, really enjoyed the benefits of it. I really feel like it helped my hair be less frizzy and just more smooth. As I was mixing it, Bradley was like, it looks like a delicious dip for chicken fingers, and it made me laugh. But yeah, I was not looking forward to putting this in there, but it actually wasn't too bad. I just focused most of it from the ears down like I do every hair mask. But then I kind of remembered that I wanted it for like frizz control. So I did take some of it and put it through the rest of my hair. And I just plopped it up in a bun on top of my head to sit and do its thing. So while we let that sit, I also wanted to do a face mask. I am using the Lush Fresh Face Mask from the Halloween release. It's the Mr. Pumpkin Fresh Face Mask. I am a big fan of their fresh, well, most of their fresh face masks, but I'm always excited to try a new one. This one smelled really good. It smelled like pumpkin. Um, and it actually felt really good too. And we're also trying out the pumpkin eye pads. These are supposed to go with the pumpkin sheet mask, which if you want to see me try that, it's on my TikTok or my Instagram reels. It was a hot mess. But first we're going in with the fresh face mask, which also spoiler alert, I enjoyed much more than the other face mask products. Um, I will say it did tingle just a little bit, but I feel like that's how you know it's hydrating. I feel like pumpkin products always tingle my face just a little bit. Um, but this also had, as you can see, some texture to it. So when you wash it off, it kind of exfoliates your skin a little bit. It smells really good. It smells very like fall and Halloween-y. I really enjoyed this. I would totally use it again or buy it again if it came out again next year. The pumpkin eye pads, not so much. So they sounded really nice. They're like made of charcoal. You keep them in the fridge so they feel nice and cool. But they didn't stick on your eyes. They were too big for my eye socket, so they were just slipping off. It, it's a cute idea though, like <laughs> just as far as, you know, a fun Halloween activity, but I just, I, I wouldn't spend your money on it. But the fresh face mask is great. So then while I was letting the hair mask and the face mask sit, I decided to take a bath. I put this light up pumpkin next to my bathtub and I've really been enjoying turning it on when I take a bath. And of course, lighting my candles, setting the mood, a little bit of spooky as well. And I decided to use the Cyclops bubble bar, which smells so good. It's one of my favorite things I've tried so far from the Halloween release. I love the pink, it's super cute, and it has sweet orange oil in it. So it smells really just kind of bright and fun. And of course makes incredible bubbles. If you don't know how to use a Lush bubble bar, you just kind of break a piece off, crumble it under your faucet, and it immediately makes these fun, colorful bubbles that smell really good. And they also last really well during your bath. They don't like dissipate super quickly. Then I decided to try the Screamo bath bomb. This came out last year as a bubble bar. It has the same scent. It's a cherry scent, which I really enjoy nice and fruity. So it paired well with the orange bubble bar, but this was so fun. I think I definitely prefer it. Actually, I don't know, but I did like it as a bubble bar and I do like it as a bath bomb as well. It's fun either way, but this one, the way it kind of just like dispersed out was super cool. It had glitter, it had blue and purple, and it just was really fun to watch. If you're gonna buy one thing from the Lush Halloween range, I would either buy this or the Bat Bath Bomb. I totally love both. 
I rinsed out my hair and washed my face and I actually, like I said, was pleasantly surprised with the results of the hair mask. I would totally make this again if I had leftover pumpkin. I really felt like it was less frizzy the next day, which has been a challenge postpartum. But I'm going in with the Lush Trick or Treat Lip Scrub. This is actually last year's lip scrub, but it was fun and spooky and fit the vibes of the video. So I thought we would use it. So if you've never used a Lush Lip Scrub, they're edible. So you can just use it to scrub your lips and then lick it away. So they're flavored. This one is sour lime flavored. And this was the most of it I've ever gotten in my mouth and it was so sour. Um, I normally don't just lick it away because I feel like that's gross with all your dead lip skin. So I usually use like a little washcloth to wipe it away. Then I'm going in with the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Overnight Face Mask, which this is a re-release from last year. I tried it last year and I didn't love it, but I think that my issue is I just don't love, love overnight face masks. So on the back of it, I read it, it said that you can also just use it as a normal mask. It said put a generous thick amount on your face, leave for 10 or 15 minutes and then wash it off. So that's what I ended up doing and I actually really, really liked it. I'm totally gonna use it again. And again, the pumpkin in this kind of stung my face, but it made feel like it was like extra nourishing. Um, but after 10 minutes, I did wipe it off with a warm washcloth. And then I followed up with my very favorite face oil, which is also from Trader Joe's. I used the Trader Joe's organic argan oil just to lock in any moisture and just prepare my skin for the night. I use this every single night, but I thought that it felt really nice on top of the residual mask that was left on my skin. And then somewhat Halloween themed, just because it's candy related, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and the Gummy Bear Scent. I love Laneige lip products. I love their Lip Glowy Balm, the Sleeping Masks. This is my second favorite mask. It does have a bit of a purple tint, which is super fun. Um, I prefer the berry one or the grapefruit one. I don't even know what I prefer, the pink pot, but this one is nice too. So I'm just putting that all over my lips, which always feels good after a nice lip scrub. But that is it, you guys. That's it for my Halloween spooky products pamper night. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just thought we'd try some spooky products together. And I've done videos like this in the past, just like normal pamper routines. So I will link a playlist up in the corner if you want to check more of those out. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do have some more spooky stuff coming your way, some more spooky vlogs. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye.